What I'd like to do today is get your version of what happened. You mean the truth? Of course. Just state your name and occupation for the record. Insano. Doctor Insano. Doctor. Uh, what kind of doctor and where? Oh, science! Doctor of science! I do most of my work on Etsy. Thank you. Now, before we get to the meat of this thing, do you, at the present time, have any knowledge of the current whereabouts of a Mr. Spoonie or Bert? God, will you leave them alone? Dr. Insano, please. You could be in a great deal of trouble. His entire house in Arizona explodes in a ball of green flame. Green flame! They're saying it's a Mako explosion, and just all hell is breaking loose here. And there are people who say you're involved. That you might be responsible. That you're a very dangerous man. Now, if you're protecting Spoonie and Bert... Ooh, leave Spoonie and Bert alone! We are in their debt! They showed great courage! Okay. Okay. But if I'm going to be your attorney, there are some things I have to know that still don't make any sense to me. Like, uh, do you really believe in mad science? You mean comic book mad science? Yes. Of course! Are you serious about this? And robots and spaceships as well. Oh, sure. And magic. And you expect me to believe in magic? Absolutely. Why? Because it's real. How can I know that, Doctor? How? Yes, how? Help me out here. Please. How? Noah and Burton from the Spoonie Experiment, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. Like I told my last girlfriend, I says, Honey, I never play Tekken against someone I can't see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. You just listen to the old Lord of Tekken and take his advice on a dark and stormy night, all right? When some wild-eyed trench coat wearing eight-foot-tall maniac grabs your neck, taps the back of your favorite head up against the bedroom wall, and he looks you crooked in the eye, and he asks you if you played Final Fantasy XIII too, then you just stare that big sucker right back in the eye, and you remember what old Spoonie once says at a time like that. Have you played XIII too, Spoonie? Yes, sir, the review is in the render queue. See, I'm not saying I've seen every film and I've played every game, but I do think it's a pretty amazing planet we live on here, and a man would have to be some kind of fool to think I hate everything in this universe. Just most things. I certainly don't hate Big Trouble in Little China because it's my favorite movie ever. No horseshit, this movie's awesome. The movie introduced me to the director, John Carpenter, one of the all-time greats. Throughout the 70s and 80s, this guy was just unstoppable. These movies were visionary and still endure as all-time classics of sci-fi, action, and horror. Halloween basically served as the foundation of the modern slasher movie. He even did the best Call of Cthulhu movie ever made titled In the Mouth of Madness. I'm God now, you understand? Look around when you wake up. Did I ever tell you my favorite color was blue? 
seriously, if you're not looking this guy up by the time this video is over, I don't even want you around here anymore. I could go on forever about John Carpenter. Believe me, I'd like to. I have the hugest boner right now just talking about him. But I've got work to do because just a couple of weeks ago, seriously, I found out that there's a big trouble in Little China video game. Now why in the hell aren't I notified about these things? If there's a John Carpenter based video game, I want to know! What's especially frustrating and a little embarrassing for me as a PC gamer is that this was released on the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum type of computers. But the reasons I've never heard of it is one, it's really, really old, and two, it was only released overseas. China is here, Mr. Burton. What does that mean? Huh? China is here? I don't even know what the hell that means. All I know is that Europe is here, which is where I gotta find a PAL format Commodore 64 with a dataset deck, with a 50 hertz PAL format monitor, and hope to god I find one on eBay that's still working after 1980, fuck. Well, there's gotta be a listing for one, I'll just have to pay 6 G's in shipping. And no, I can't use an American Commodore 64, because the frame rate will be all weird and the color will be all gray. And I don't want to play with the frame rate all weird, I want to play the game based on my favorite movie the way it's supposed to be played. And that means using a German Commodore 64 with a dataset deck, a floppy drive, a JVC PAL NTSC dual region compatible monitor, a Commodore 64 S video cable, uh, RGB adapter plugs, getting a power strip, and a 200 watt, 110 volt to 220 volt step up power transformer okay so why don't you just play it on an emulator April, you just you don't get it do you you don't it'll be a miracle if this tape works software on 25 year old magnetic media i don't know and yeah they put software on cassette tapes back then they sucked i always had problems with them even back in the day when they worked they didn't work my dad used a different kind of tape to archive hard drives and that fucker ate tapes like a four-year-old eats spaghetti they're slow as shit too it took four minutes and 17 seconds for this to finish loading i don't get it you could play games on cartridges on the commodore that loaded almost instantly games on floppy were way faster i literally went and folded my laundry waiting for this thing to load and it still wasn't ah! And that's how you know it's done. That fucking sound out of nowhere. Thanks for that. Ugh, great. No music. Nothing brings me back to the crazy adventures of Jack Burton like the crushing vacuum of silence. Apparently the ZX Spectrum version had music written by John Carpenter himself. And basically no color though. Better animation? I don't know. Weird trade-off here. Anyway, from what I understand, this is a beat-em-up. Just fight tons of bad guys on the way until you get to low pan. Although it's weird, I don't know if I've ever seen a beat-em-up where you walk from right to left. Maybe the code is written in Chinese. Hey, where are you guys going? Hey! As soon as this guy shows up, Egg and Wang are like, Good luck with that, Jack! Assholes. What? Hang I can't hit the guy. I'm hitting the attack button. Come on. Come on! I'm hitting the right button, but he's not doing anything! What the fuck, man? Oh, God damn it! And no, I wasn't just bashing the keyboard hoping to find the attack key. I actually read the instructions. Unlike console gamers, us PC gamers know how to read. Anyway, you're gonna love the controls for this game. The Commodore doesn't have a number pad or arrow keys, because it's primarily a work computer, so whatever. Just see if you can guess, though, what the keys are for moving left or right. You can probably tell I wouldn't be asking if it was as simple as the usual WASD arrangement in shooters today, right? In fact, S tags egg into the front of the line, so yeah, now you're too scared to touch anything else and you're definitely reading the instructions. Okay, so left and right, I and O. Not even kidding! Guess what the attack key is? Uh, shit, I don't even know how many guesses. I'll give you five guesses on which one the attack key is. Return key? Wrong. Spacebar? Wrong. Control key? Shift key? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. It's the P key. P for attack. So it's, it's IOP. Seemed logical, I guess. It's all in a row. Okay, well, guess what the jump and crouch buttons are. I'll give you ten guesses. I don't care you're wrong. Jump is Y and Crouch is H. The whole game I didn't even know how to position my hands. It almost seemed like they intended for you to control it all with your right hand. I suppose I could have gotten used to it, you know, once my hands seized into a twisted claw. 
You'll give this up once you figure out how to attack because of how frigging stupid and unreliable it all is. Okay, so attacking. Pushing the attack button by itself does not actually attack. I don't know where I got that idea. Silly me. Oh wait, I'm sorry. The instructions call it the fire button. You have to aim the attack as well by pressing another key while holding down the fire key. And that sounds straightforward, but believe me, it's not. Because you have to be holding the fire button, then the direction. If you're holding the direction first, it doesn't work. Meaning you have to stop moving entirely before you attack, because you can't be holding down any keys when you start your attack. You keep thinking you'll be able to do some forward drop kick or a punch while moving in, but of course not. You'll just keep walking like a zombie and get punched in the face. Why do you have to do this? Why don't you just have individual keys assigned to low, normal, and high attacks? It's not like there's a fucking shortage of keys! It's like a slow and clunky version of the combat system in Heroes of the Lance, and Jesus Christ does that mean we're in for a long ride. That game scarred my childhood! And at least the aiming in Heroes of the Lance was necessary to hit these- Gah! These fucking dwarves! God, I remember these little fuckers! In this game, the high punch is okay to catch enemies jumping, sure, but the low kick is such absurdly short range, it's completely useless, and there's never one time where anyone ducks that low where no other attack will hit, or punch in Jack's case. Yeah, this is supposed to be Jack, but then we get into the other two characters, each of which controls differently because they all have their own fighting technique. Like, Jack style is fist and bushmaster combat, Wang style is karate combat. Karate. In Little China. Everybody was kung fu fighting in this movie, numbnuts! This cat was throwing lightning! This guy was a little bit frightening! And they fought with expert... timing. Anyway, Wang knows karate combat, and apparently Egg Shen knows zap combat. Yes. It's in the movie, yeah, just it probably sounds a lot more poetic in the original Mandarin. Unless you think that playing as either one of these guys sounds cool, they're not. Egg sounds awesome, right? He's flying around on a cloud, he's got zap combat, but when you attack he bounces around and shit, his normal forward attack causes him to jump, and his high attack, I don't know where the fuck he's going, but none of the enemies in this game jump half that high. Oh, and final pop quiz on the controls. See if you can guess what the keys to tag in each person to the front of the line are. You're gonna love this. Okay, it's C for Wang, S for Egg, and B for Jack. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. You wanna know why? Because I figured it out. It's B for Jack Burton, C for Wang Chi, and S for Egg Shen. I mean, for fuck's sake. Then I start thinking, if you're gonna do that, why not make it E for Egg, W for Wang, and J for Jack? Well, if you did that, J is in the middle of your clusterfuck movement controls and you'd be tagging Jack in all the time by accident, which just raises the question of why in the fuck you made these random ass keys the movement controls in the first fucking place? And here's the gunman who fuck shot me right in the dick! Fuck! They can only have one bullet on screen at a time, but since they spend most of the game on the right side of the screen, they can shoot me in as many times as they- Fuck! 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 Ow! Ow! Fuck! Egg's shots go right over his fucking head! Fuck! 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 Ow! And now what's happening? Oh my god. It, now he's just jumping up and down. This is so awkward! Oh, well, bye then, I guess. Thank you. I guess he just lost interest. Maybe he saw Jack Burton just wade through about 20 rounds of sustained gunfire and not die. I know I'd run if I saw that. Like, holy shit, Kurt Russell's the Terminator. This happens a lot, too, where you'll be fighting a guy and suddenly he just sort of loses interest in you. He jumps over your head and walks away like, whoa, hey, I give up, man. There's three of you and one of me. Fuck it, I'm not stupid. I'm not even full time. All you can hope to do is just run at them and hope they jump over you and leave the screen. And then they just savage you sometimes and there's nothing you can do about it. Fuck! Fuck, 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 stop it! God damn it, there's nothing I can do about this. He just will not let up. And I can't back off either because he'll just shoot me once I get back into his firing range, and I can't hit him either because I'm actually past his! Oh, thank God he's leaving. Jesus, that hurt. Oh no, you scum shit shitbag! Ow, ow, God damn it, you ass! Ow, you shit, ow, ow, fuck! Will they ever stop to reload? Oh my God, who are these people? Now this really pisses me off to no end! Oh my God, he's leaving! I made it! Oh, no! 
come out no more. Oh, whatever. It's gonna come out a lot more. But now for some more bad news. Ready? You can't just move past enemies like the gunmen or keep walking to force them off the screen when they get behind you. Oh, they'll stay behind you, but it's like they're trapped against the edge of the monitor. They'll only leave the screen if they feel like it. Otherwise, you have to keep walking forward and try to wait them out or walk backward and get hit when you move past them. It's also stiff and weird since nobody can turn around in this game. All the fight scenes consist of two people just jumping straight up and down and kicking. In fact, the way people jump kick in this game looks exactly like... Bye, you Billy! <laughs> I like how even the instructions tell you how boned you are facing the gunman. You will have to retreat and lose them as you will not be able to defeat them in combat until you have gained more experience. Yeah, sure. Okay, two things. One, bullshit. Retreating doesn't work. I don't care if my mind and my spirit are as one and I move in and out of combat like the wind. I can't outrun bullets, especially since I can't jump backwards anyway. And there's also the minor detail that they can, you know, walk forward after you and don't have to stop to jump straight upward over bullets. I might retreat a little faster if I was able to turn around and run instead of having to moonwalk away. Second, that part about not being able to defeat the gunman until you get more experience is true. If by experience you mean this. Every goon you beat up gets you some points, and every thousand points or so, a power-up appears somewhere ahead. And you better pray it's not Wang's sword, because Wang sucks. I hate Wang. His attacks are just useless, like this stupid kick to the knee or whatever, this jump kick that never hits, and Wang's kick to the Wang. Again, it's the only straight ahead attack, so it's the only one worth using. But anyway, Wang is the only character who doesn't get a ranged special weapon. Instead, he gets this shitty sword that doesn't give you any extra range and does some extra damage, but who cares how much, because Jack gets this gun that kills enemies in one hit. So yeah, basically you want the gun, and you're saving that for the gunman, because if you don't have the gun, prepare to be sent to the hell where people are shot full of so many holes they whistle as they fall to the ground. The Chinese have a lot of hells. Egg's weapon is the six demon bag, of course, which is fucking sensational. Now you've got like 25 shots that go clear across the screen and kill anything instantly. Well yeah, there's more than six shots in a six demon bag. There's more than demons in there. There's wind, fire, all that kind of thing. There's also a magic potion which lets you see things no one else can see, do things no one else can do, like... Uh, actually, I don't know what the magic potion did. I think it makes your attack stronger. I know it doesn't heal you, there's a food pickup for that. Maybe it just gives you a very positive attitude about this. I just can't believe how badly they screwed Wang. Somebody, I don't care who, tell me what is going on. How did Wang go from being the hero of the movie to being the worst character in the game? He's useless. His attacks are just jumping around and not hitting anything. Wang's just flopping all over the place, and he's the only guy whose special weapon might actually make him less effective than he normally is. I don't know, maybe the sword is super effective against the storms, these awesome demigod dudes you fight at the end. He said in the classic video game critic setup, knowing in a second it would not in fact be shown to be true. No, it doesn't. You suck, Wang. Honestly, Jack is the best character in the game simply because his controls are straightforward and he doesn't jump around like an asshole. And he has a gun, I just... <laughs> and the gun kills the storms in one hit too? Well, okay then. There's a bonus. I'll stick with these. I'm pretty sure that's not how it worked in the movie. I'm pretty sure they can break guns like they were Ritz crackers. I also don't remember Jack Burton having black hair and wearing nothing but purple. They got every single aspect of this guy's appearance and characterization wrong. And it's pretty distinctive. He's on the fucking poster! Blue jeans, blonde hair, and the white tank top is pretty much iconic of the entire movie. How do you fuck this up? Look, I know they're working with a limited color palette here, but don't fucking tell me they couldn't do blue. I know they can do white, and I certainly don't remember Egg Shen floating around on a cloud the entire movie. The graphics also make it look like everyone's going bald and back. It's like they put in extra effort to add in the bald spots. Stage 2 is stage 1, only purple meaning Jack is perfect for this situation since he blends right in. Actually, it's the sewer, or whatever place it is underground leading to Lopan's palace with the black blood of the earth and that big fucking nightmarish <laughs> Obviously, you can't do anything to hurt it even with a six demon bag, although I don't know where I got that idea. And it doesn't have a pattern you can dodge. It always glory holes you the instant you go past the door. Okay, I'm gonna jump past the door. Oh, God! Try it again. Jesus! Try it again, I'll jump earlier! Ugh. 
I'm not fucking this up. You can't jump past the door. God damn it. Okay, I'll try to get as close as possible then to fuck. Okay, so jumping over it doesn't work. And then I'm thinking like, uh, maybe I can approach the door and then draw it out and then jump over it when it's pulling back. Cock sucker, kiss my ass. Look, I'm a reasonable guy, but I just experienced some very unreasonable things. The instructions specifically tell you that you can avoid the sewer monsters by jumping over them as they cannot be killed. Well, they cannot be fucking avoided either. Piece of shit. Oh, and the monster doesn't hurt the bad guys at all. Just in case you thought that was a strategy. The final stage is level 3, where you face the storms, but if you do anything other than just shoot them in the face, you planned this poorly. This would have made the ending of the movie a lot different. Would have made the beginning of the movie a lot different. Then you fight Lo Pan, who flies around on his own magic cloud. Huh. It'll be so great if I can just shoot him in the face and he dies immediately. That would kind of be like in the movie. Ha! Bitch. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Hey, where are you going? Hey, you. Come on over here and fight like a man. You can chase them all over this stage. Oh, until you run into an invisible wall. If you run out of ammo here, have fun punching him to death. Oh, it can be done, in theory. It only takes about 20 or 30 hits. There, he's dead. And he's back. I guess you have to hope another gun appears. I've had it happen a few times. Not that it's fucking helped. After dying a shitload of times, I've played it enough to get pretty good and get here with a lot of ammo. When you die, you have to start the whole game over, by the way. Just keep that in mind. This is old school shit. He's pretty tough to hit, though, since he actually moves to avoid your bullets. So you have to get in close, but that means he's also probably gonna hit you, too. That's why this fight is so hard, but man, you've tagged this guy seven or eight times and he just keeps coming back. Whatever, I don't care. This is gonna take Cracker Jack timing. Total concentration. I'm gonna kill this cloud riding dickhead as many times as it takes. David Lopez style! this piece of shit and punch him in the thorax until there's bone fragments in his shit. I don't know what else to do. The instructions say, as he has the power of regeneration, he will need to be shot, zapped, and run through a number of times to finally kill him once and for all. Well, does that number not fit on the instruction booklet? Fuck you. I hate this game. I fucking hate it. At this point, I don't even- What? What the fuck just happened? Bullshit! I've been trying to kill this guy so long I just died of old age! Son of a bitch must pay! Oh, I finally figured out how to do it. This went back to pure old school instinct, man. I notice as I'm running back and forth that all of a sudden this thing is here. I don't know, it's just here now. It wasn't there before. It is exactly where that invisible wall is, so I figure it's Mao Yim and maybe you have to grab her or kill Lo Pan while up against her. <laughs> What? That's... that's it? That's the ending? Ah, oh, that's how the game started! You're telling me you busted my fortune cookies all over Chinatown to stop a Mandarin warlord from ruling the universe from beyond the grave? And the ending was literally a flashing game over screen and some lame sound effect that sounded like a miserable pa -da. At first I thought I died or something! This sounds like I've died in agony! Combined with a frozen screen and the same bleak game over where it slammed dead center of the screen, just as cold and as final as if you'd been shot in the face. Well, that just cheered me right the fuck up. But hey, Mao Yin, what's your problem? We saved you from low pan. Oh, right, Wang got killed. Shit. You know, a while ago I might have let this piece of shit game ruin my favorite movie from my childhood. Kind of like Ultima 9 did, but in the end... It's probably just some slap-together piece of software made by a couple of guys in a week. Just because it's licensed doesn't taint the movie in any way. 
Big trouble in little China is in the heart. You know? Wherever I go, she's with me. You rat bastard. Fucking jizz bucket. Burn in the hell of scalding spoony chili shit bombs! You will come out no more! <laughs> You just remember what old Spoonie and Burton do when there's black gates and seahorse lightning falls from the sky and the pillars of cocoon shake. Yes, yeah, Spoonie and Burton just look that big old storm right square in the eye and say, Give me your best shot, pal. I can take it. Thank <laughs> you.